Hello everyone, and welcome to part 2 of Dratnos' Minecraft Technic Pack Primers, brought to you once again by Soth X Nightpath, Wandering Dark Elf, and his block of obsidian. So last episode we went over the pipes, the basic pipes, uh, and their different uses. This episode I thought we'd go over some of the engines and the basic machines. Not all of them, but some of them. So the first engine is a redstone engine. And a redstone engine is made as follows. First thing you're going to need is going to be one, or a piston. But I'm going to make a couple of pistons because I'll need some more later. So remember this recipe if you need to ever make an engine, because first you need to make a piston. And pistons are an important step in the engine making process. Right. So you have your piston. Luckily enough, I do have it. It's right here. Stick that in the bottom. But wait. First thing we need to do are make some gears. So, a redstone engine is made out of, a wo of two wooden gears. But the higher quality engines are made out of higher quality gears. So, stick your two gears in the bottom sides, piston in the middle, and glass in the true middle, and wooden planks across the top. Makes you a redstone engine, like so. Now, a redstone engine is... It can be used to power pretty much anything, except for a quarry and a pump, I believe. I'm not sure about that, though. Don't quote me on that. Um, so, a redstone engine is powered simply by sticking a redstone torch next to it. And and if there was something above it, it would be working. You'll notice the particle effects around it signify that it is in go mode. But it won't power things like quarries or other high power required machines, and it'll only pull out one item per thrust on a wooden pipe, for example, whereas higher quality engines will pull out more materials. Let me just make it day. Right. So, second kind of engine is the steam engine, also known as a cobblestone engine. So for that, we're going to need two cobblestone gears, which are made by just taking two wooden gears and then sticking cobblestone around them in this recipe. Gears aren't actually useful at all, they just are in crafting recipes, so I'm not going over that recipe too much, you can see it. Um, so you stick your two stone gears in the bottom, piston in the middle, glass in the very middle, and cobblestone across the top makes you a steam engine, or a stone engine as I like to call them. And steam engines work a lot like a, f a combination of a redstone engine and a furnace. You just stick your flammable material in here, your redstone torch next to it, and it'll start to work. You'll notice that it would be doing work if, if something were up here. It, there isn't, though. So that's your, uh, that's your steam engine. And your final engine is an iron engine, or a combustion engine. These engines are very, very good at what they do. They'll pull out a whole stack every stroke on a uh, wooden pipe, and they'll get quarries running without even a second's delay in between, which uh, sto steam engines are kind of the middle ground between combustion engines and redstone engines. So, you stick your two iron gears at the bottom, piston in the middle, glass in the very middle, and iron across the top, makes you a combustion engine. Now, combustion engines don't run off of uh, coal or anything. You need to actually give them oil, or lava, and that'll make them combust. I don't have any oil or lava, but actually I can give myself a lava bucket. You can also just pipe them lava using a, a pump, and then it'll just fill up in here, and it'll work next time you, need, you try to power it. It'll start using that up, but you still need to have the redstone torch next to it. I forget that a couple times, and it, it's bad. Don't forget that. So, what do you use these engines to power? Well, wooden pipes, which we learned last about uh, last primary episode, but also quarries, mining wells, pumps, and uh, some of the advanced pipes also require power, like uh, teleportation pipes, I believe, which I'll get to maybe in another primer in uh, a way down the road once I start actually using them in my Let's Play. So how do you make, say, a mining well? Well, good question, viewer. I'm glad you asked that because that's, in fact, what I'm about to do right now. A mining well is made with one iron gear, yes, iron gear, like this, iron along the sides, like so, and redstone at the top, and an iron pickaxe, a fresh iron pickaxe, I believe, in the bottom. And that makes you a mining well. Mining wells, I believe, that this would be good to test, can be run just by a redstone engine. And the way it works is, if this works, okay, no, maybe they do need a steam engine as well. Let's go ahead and uh, give him a steam engine, see if that works. We'll stick, uh, what's flammable? Wooden planks are pretty flammable. Actually, sticks are also flammable. Stick a couple of sticks there. Power it with a redstone engine. 
and it'll, oops, just start pumping down this drill into the ground and spit the blocks out the top or into a pipe if there's an adjacent pipe. So every time it strokes there, it goes down one further, as you might see. So that's your mining well. And it's now out of power, I believe. Oh, well, that's nice. It's, uh, it's going ahead and being buggy. That's a, that's a fantastic bug. That's, but uh, that is, in fact, a bug. It shouldn't do that. It should stop working when it runs out of stuff. Anyways, ah, oh, my OCD is now kicking in, and I need to collect all of this stuff. Okay. Uh, quarries are like mining wells, but better. The way that they work is you require seven whole gears to make them, which I don't believe I have enough sticks for. Oh, wait, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. So you've got seven gears, and they're all going to have to be pretty high-quality gears. You get uh, four of them iron, and by four, of course, in this case, I mean three. And the rest have to go on to even higher than iron. So we'll keep four, uh, th yes, three at iron, send four on up to gold. This is how you make uh, golden gears. It's the same general idea as all the other gears. And two of them stay at gold, and two go up to diamond. Ignore the emerald tooltip. Again, that's a, that's a mistake. And so then you get a fresh diamond pickaxe at the bottom, which I will need some more sticks for, which I've got now. So you make yourself a fresh diamond pickaxe. Yes. Stick that at the bottom. Two diamond gears alongside it. Iron gears in a V. Gold gears on the side. Redstone on the top. Quarry. So if you place a quarry down anywhere, it'll automatically determine a, a default area of this size. And if you give it power with a combustion engine or, or a steam engine or better, it'll just start mining this all out. It'll send a frame along this first. And then it'll create a little arm that'll just go down and start eating up the blocks and spitting them out here. But, suppose that's not what you're looking for. Suppose you're looking for, say, a very specific area to be mined out. Well, you can do that. And the way you need to do that is with what's called landmarks. So a landmark is made with redstone torches and lapis lazuli, like that. You get your landmark, and you can just plonk one down anywhere. If you Go ahead and give that landmark redstone power. You can use it as si sort of a leveling tool, because it'll then just shoot out a laser in all directions. So if you are doing some sort of precision work and like 100 feet away you need something on the same axis, that's a good trick to have. However, that's not the primary function of the landmark. The primary function of the landmark is defining lines, areas, and volumes. So to define a line, you just need to get two in a line, right-click one of them, to define an area, you just need three in an area. Right-click one of them. And to define a volume, you just need three with one at a different, on a different plane than the others. That'll do, or also up there will do. And you right-click any one of them would have done. And you get it to define a whole volume. Now, if I want my quarry to just mine that out, I can stick the quarry next to it. It'll release all the landmarks and make this the designated area. So that's how quarries work. Uh, next Primer episode, which probably won't be for quite a while, maybe a week or so, will be on pumps, liquids, and fillers, which are the final buildcraft uh, basics. Thanks for watching, everybody. If, you're, if you haven't seen my Let's Play, check it out. I use this stuff, along with some of the other mods in, this, in the pack, to make some really cool stuff. Subscribe if you like this. I intend to have more tutorial -y type stuff in the future as well. Thank you for watching. This has been Dratnos. Goodbye.